Uh, we are here at the American Heart House in order to shoot a webinar on uh, how you can get the, uh, the manuscript to Jack Case Reports perfect for submission. Uh, my name is Julia Krebs. I'm the Editor-in-Chief for Jack Case Reports. I'm a consultant cardiologist for Parts uh, Heart Health in, uh, in London and I'm Associate Professor at University College London. And I am here with Julia at Heart House, um, joining her in this effort to help you become a successful author of manuscript to submit to Jack Case Reports. I'm Minnow Walsh, and I am the Medical Director of the Heart Failure and Transplant Program at St. Vincent in Indianapolis, and I'm also pleased to be an Associate Editor of Jack Case Reports. So we are ready to start on uh, this webinar. Practically, we will demonstrate a few tips and tricks on uh, how to write a great clinical case. So Jack Case Reports is an open access journal, and this is a forum for promoting clinical cases and problem solving. We at Jack Case Reports will accept educational or rare clinical cases that are well described and have very clear learning objectives. The journal aims to serve as a publication vehicle for those of you who are early in your career and members of the cardiovascular care team as a forum for mentorship on both the review and the publication process. As you will see online, we have a variety of uh, article types. Uh, you will have the opportunity to, to submit for a clinical case or clinical case series um, or even a heart care team but definitely on the next slides we will refer to the article types in detail. So clinical cases are, uh, or case reports should focus on the clinical presentation of the patient and then the patient management, the differential diagnosis or the treatment. These cases, the clinical cases, should be educational and uh, should be associated with current guideline recommended practices. So you can see on this slide the word count should be no more than uh, 1,500 words, uh, including references and figure legend, no more than 10 authors, etc. And now we will uh, present you tips and tricks on how to submit an excellent clinical case. So the tips and tricks, either what we really are interested in is either a rare or something with educational value. Very importantly, please do a literature search. Just because it's new to you does not mean it's new. We want you to look through the literature to make sure that you understand what has preceded your work. Make certain that you revise your case for the English language. Get help on this if you need to. Be, we, uh, the publication is in English and we need the grammar and syntax to be correct. The manuscript should be well structured and we'll show you that uh, more in, in more detail later. And please, for learning objectives, highlight two to three points on what someone could learn from your case. And what do we mean uh, by appropriate structure? Uh, practically, you can use these subheadings when you feel that they're appropriate for your manuscript. We start from a clear uh, title that will be the short description of the case. And uh, it can be even related to the guidelines that they have been illustrated in the proposal. Um, or the full case when submitted. Uh, the title should not be more than 15 words. Uh, then you will, present the, how you will present the history. So how the patient was admitted, why the patient was admitted, most importantly, physical examination, as well as lab and imaging data. Then you can have a paragraph on the past medical history. Subsequently, we'll have differential diagnosis, investigations that they took place, and then we proceed to management. If they use any medical uh, treatment or interventions, and uh, then the discussion will be associated with the current guidelines or the current practice. If you decided not to follow the current guidelines, you need to explain to us why. Uh, subsequently, we need the follow-up, if you have any available follow-up on, on the patient, and then conclusion, as well as take-home messages and learning objectives. So don't forget to spell abbreviations the first time that you've used them. To use terms that are used worldwide, do not use colloquial terms to either your country or to the US, in fact. And also provide very high quality imaging supporting the information within the text. This is extremely important, especially for those vignettes and case reports that are based heavily on imaging. The image quality is extremely important. 
The next step is uh, the article type of hard care team, multidisciplinary team life. This is eligible for CME content and we are we're choosing the articles that they are suitable for hard care team life. We will work together with the authors to develop this initiative and we are trying to make this clinical case interactive with question and answers and also of CME value. It will be highlighted every month as a CME case online on the website and we will follow the same guidelines as clinical case submission. The word count may be increased up to 2,000 words if needed. So uh, the hard care team, multidisciplinary team live represents sort of a step-by-step -step emergence of information and developments in clinical practice. And we really want it to, for you to show us how clinicians and clinical care teams respond and work through problems. So this is a, really something that we uh, think that you can show how your team worked through a complex problem. That might be your valve team. That might be, in my case, the heart failure transplant team. In the case of uh, a nursing issue, this could be heavily based in nursing or clinical pharmacology cases. So we want you to show us to illustrate how the care team works together in these cases. So it's a general requirement that you will provide six questions and answers in the form of CME. Uh, please find the example on, of publication on the website of Jack Case Reports. So the clinical case series uh, should consist of two or more clinical cases, cases or patients uh, who have the same clinical condition and should include a description of the patient's presentation how you uh, did the diagnostic workup, interventions, and outcomes. So again, the cases can be uh, as few as two, but as many as several cases, but they have to all consist of cases that focus on the same clinical condition. The next article type is global health reports, and we encourage reports from all around the world, especially low-income countries, uh, to demonstrate humanitarian work, refugee health, conflict, humanitarian aid, telemedicine and e-health. And it's important that these reports will focus on initiatives or programs that they can make an impact on individuals' patients' life. Again, um, we don't have more than five authors. Um, the global health report is no more than 1,200 words, including the references, and you can use up to two uh, figures or tables and the necessary references. So a clinical vignette or an ECG vignette are, uh, both have a word count that is no more than 500 words, so you can tell that this is a very brief uh, um, article of the, or manuscript no more than five authors and only one figure, no more than three references. So these are sort of quick hits with either a clinical vignette or a fascinating, interesting ECG with which you wish to make a clinical point. And as Minu mentioned before, uh, it's important to have high quality imaging. And if you have multiple figures, maybe it would be better to create a multi-panel central figure, but we want the best of the best uh, imaging that you may have for the patient, then provide additional videos that they may be important for the reader, and also try to uh, teach your audience. Uh, in 500 words, it may be short text, but be simple and straightforward. So voices in cardiology is a section wherein we really want to hear what your perspectives are. This can be physicians, scientists, other uh, healthcare professionals, and also the patient's perspective. We are interested in it all. Um, we're interested in clinician well-being and modern problems that, uh, that focus um, on the, the cardiovascular workforce, for example, uh, but even problems uh, global, not so much global health-wise, but what we're facing uh, with regard to modern problems in delivering care. Now, before, we, before you submit vo to Voices in Cardiology, please send us an email to check with the Jack uh, Case Reports editorial board first to see if your Voices in Cardiology fits these parameters. One of the last slides is uh, your checklist. Uh, make sure that the layout of the clinical case is clear cut and easy to read. Also, to use the suggested subheadings when appropriate. Make sure that you have document physical examination. Make sure that you have um, the differential diagnosis in your text. 
also that there is appropriate association with the clinical guidelines. And as Mino uh, mentioned and highlighted, it's important that the imaging is of high quality and that you use annotations, arrows when appropriate in order to teach the audience with your case. Last but not least, make sure that you will have a, a extensive English revision of your manuscript before you submit to the journal. So both of us uh, look forward to your submissions to JAG case reports and you can see on this slide uh, the website for the journal and also any questions please email us. So um, we thank you for joining us for this webinar. Again, I'm Minnell Walsh and I'm with Julia Grapsa and we, uh, Julia is the editor-in-chief of Jack Case Reports and I'm one of the associate editors. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions. There's a very talented editorial board of associate editors uh, who have expertise in many areas of clinical cardiology and we're all ready, willing, and able to answer your questions.